Hi everyone, welcome back to the Analog Wonderlem YouTube channel. My name's Amy, I am the Community and Content Marketing Manager at Analog Wonderland. And if you haven't seen me before, I am actually Emma's replacement because she's now gone off to Australia. So hello to everyone that hasn't seen me yet. So today I'm joined by Andy from Kodak Omots and we're here to discuss the winner of our Kodak Summer Competition, which was focused on Portra 160. Whether you are new to film photography or a long time analog enthusiast, our channel covers all things film, from tips and tricks, film reviews to how to videos. Subscribe now and keep those notifications turned on so that you never miss a beat. Happy shooting! So it's really nice to meet you, Andy. This is the first Thanks time we've met. <laughs> it's nice to welcome you back to Analog Wonderland. Yeah. Been here a few times. I love coming here. It's, yeah, every time is um, every time I come, it's, it's a very enjoyable experience. So, oh, good. Yeah, that's good. great. I love it. Lovely. It's good to have you back. Yeah. So the last competition we had with you guys was in winter. Yes. And that one was about Ultramax 400. Yep. Yeah, yep. right. so yeah. that was with Emma. Yes. Yep. We had a lot of entries like we have done this time as well. Exactly. So, uh, yeah. Yep. It takes it took some sifting. We had over a thousand <laughs> entries, so that was um, oh, yeah, wow. very, very it's rewarding. It's a big job yeah. for you. Yeah, it was, but it was good. It was good fun. Rewarding, yeah, for yeah. sure. This one's all about Portra 160, and we've nicely mm. decorated behind us. You can see all the variations of the film. So we've got 35 mil, we've got 120, and sheet film. Uh, like Andy said, this time around, so many entries. I think mm -hmm. it was around 820. Was it really? Okay, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, it, and, it, it was yeah. a long list. Yeah. A tough job yeah. for you, I think. It came as a surprise because the initial list was much shorter, and then I found that I wasn't looking at the whole list. And, uh, <laughs> I realized I had a much bigger job on my hands. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you shoot Portra 160? Yeah, so I'm lucky I have a suite of films that I can share of with course. them. And Portra 160 is, if you're looking for, uh, it's actually one of the most underrated pro films, I think, because it's got okay. really good um, detail in it, but mm -hmm. very nice natural colours, which is great yep. for flesh tones, good for portrait type yes. work. Um, and so it, it's uh, a lot of people go for Portra 400 above Portra 160, mm -hmm. and it always surprises me they do. I think they might feel comfy with the higher speed film, but yeah. um, with Portra 160, mm -hmm. it's finer grain and uh, it gives very good results, very consistent. Yeah. And, um, and it's, it's, it's very good at taking photos at different speeds as well. So it exactly. Does, it's a very easy film to use. Okay, so. good to know. Yeah, I haven't actually tried it yet, but. It's on my okay, list. Good. Yeah. <laughs> so we're getting ready to start judging all of your prints and we have printed them off so we can see them mm -hmm. right in front of us. These are going to be coming back to you as well, so you will get a copy of your print as well. So that's everyone in the top 20, isn't it? Like, yes, yeah. top 20 entrance, mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. And we had a top 40 and we whistled down to the top 20, <laughs> which is never easy. Obviously, thank you to everyone who's taken part, you know, 820 of you, that's incredible. And some of you submitted more than one image which is amazing. Um, so yeah, it's really nice to see yeah. everyone getting involved. And as you know, we'll be awarding some Kodak prizes as well. Yeah, so goodies. we'll be sending some film prizes out to the, the top nice. three. Lots to look forward to. Yeah, yeah. Nice, good. nice. Okay, so we're gonna start with number 20. Here it is, in print. <clears throat> So, what are your thoughts okay. on this one? So, I really like it. It's got very strong colours, um, and the way it's composed um, is, is just about perfect. Um, but fortuitously, the, the sunlight is heavily on the lighthouse, which mm -hmm. really brings it to the fore, makes it a very good centrepiece. Um, but then, then the area behind it, the, it's very, very dark, which makes the lighthouse stand out even more. Yeah. So, it just creates a very striking image. This is Cal Crick. And it's titled Lighthouse. It was taken on 35mm film. Time of day and weather conditions set it up perfectly for oh, a striking image. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Well done. And on to number 19. This okay. is from Justin Walker, titled Bird, and it was shot on 120. Could have been Angry Bird, couldn't it? <laughs> this is true, bird. yeah. Uh, like, photos with a bit of personality in, mm -hmm. and the bird oozes pers personality <laughs> so in, in some ways he's sort of hidden within he's sort of camouflaged into the background yeah but once he catches your eye he's got a very striking look 
he looks a bit stern or a bit angry. He does. Uh, he looks so like he doesn't want to be disturbed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why are you what, looking at me? What's going on here? <laughs> um, so yeah, it just creates a, a, a nice fun image, really. Yeah. yeah to do that and have, not have the bird depart very yeah. quickly, very rapidly. <laughs> exactly. Which, good timing. Really good. Yeah. Good timing. Well, um, Justin, wasn't it? Justin. Yeah. yeah. So he said about this one: capturing the bird's glance into the camera after chasing it around. Yeah, oh really, chased it around. Well, there we go, yeah, yeah. that reveals it. <laughs> Do number 18. Oh, yeah. This one just automatically looks a little bit different, doesn't it? Yeah, so the colours are a bit different. It's kind of got a 70s feel to it, or I feel yeah. like it's got that sort of look. And the blues are probably not 100% natural, but the way they've come out is really, mm -hmm. really good. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, and, and having the sort of the whole film in the frame is, is really nice effect. Uh, I think you get bonus points because you can see the um, the edge print. Exactly, portrait. yeah. So there's no denying what it was shot. That's on. a fact, we know which one that is, yeah. <laughs> so very basic in many ways, but... Simple, but simple sometimes the is the best. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, so this one was shot by Ashley Kneebone. Um, it's titled Playing Catch on the Beach and it was on 35mm. He said about it, it was, this was experimental, doing panoramic and with people as well as I tend to shoot landscapes more and I'm glad it came, I came out of my comfort zone. Yeah, I think we're glad yeah. you came out of your comfort zone as well because it worked. Yeah, good use of the sort of panoramic style as well. Good use of the sort of panoramic style as well. Exactly. Yeah, yeah well done. Yeah. Okay, number 17. Oh yes, okay. So I chose this one, so it's sort of end of day sunlight, the sun sort of falling at the end of the day, mm -hmm. gives sort of warmer colours. It's just a very striking image, really about the colour and the detail, mm -hmm. uh, the composition is very good. You're having the sheep, the sheep and the birds in the background, it just gives a really nice look and feel to it. But I think it's the lighting that's given it some really bright colours. Maybe something went on in processing a little bit to help the colours come out, but... Um, they yeah, definitely it's, pop it's though. Overall yeah. effective and really nice, yeah. Yeah, lots, just capturing that golden yeah. hour. Really yeah. nice, really beautiful, Absolutely. natural. Yeah. Yeah. So this one was by Yamit Kafur. It's titled A Peaceful Evening and it was shot on 35mm. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, well it's done. lovely. Well done. Thank you. Number 16. Ah, yeah. So this is a another effective image in terms of colour. It's very striking. Uh, the trees and the path create a uh, sort of a natural corridor. Mm -hmm. um, and so to shoot into that corridor and sort of leads, leads the eye mm -hmm. right into the middle and takes you a little journey through, through a sort of a short period, short sort of length of woods. Uh, and just a very, really nice image. Colours yeah. are good, details really good. Uh, depth of field is good, so you know it's a sharp image and it, it doesn't go too far out of focus, mm -hmm. so, uh, yeah. so the lens wasn't quite fully open. It wasn't until I looked at this one close up that I saw the zigzags, and that's mm. just, it's lovely, yeah. Mm. Nice. So this was shot by Joshua Dowd and it's titled San Francisco. It was shot on 35mm. Perspective is, yeah. is great. Mm. Yeah, so well done. Number 15. Look at that. It's just yeah. so striking instantly, isn't it? So this is um, not the easiest of images to take mm -hmm. at, at that time of day. The light's falling, um, so you have to do a longer exposure, mm -hmm. um, and then that you can really over overshoot when you do a longer exposure. It could have been metered, I don't know, but um, but the way it's come out, so you can still see, even though there's not much light around, um, you've got a really effective um, sort of view of the buildings and the colours, and then the street lighting is, is overemphasising some things, and it's given it quite a saturated feel mm -hmm. with lots of colours yeah. that are coming out as well. So this was shot by Andrea Bieri and it's titled Vanaza by Night and that was on 35mm. It could be Andrea. Andrea, could be Andrea, yes. Yeah. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, there we go. It's a lovely shot yeah. anyway, regardless. Yeah. yeah, it's beautiful. Well done. 14. And here it is. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So, um, really high contrast mm -hmm. um, but and so really quite stunning uh, quite eye-catching sunset is, is getting close um, sort of end of day colors um, and just yeah very very striking image mm -hmm. yeah, sort of strangely beautiful but with sort of a very sort of strong image as mm -hmm. well it is um, yeah yeah really good so this one was shot by emma georgina um and it's titled last days of summer and it was on 35 millimeters because the waves aren't moving too much so it's so, very peaceful very still yeah, so yeah. It's not a very long exposure but it's got all the, all the info it's got all the detail well yeah all the detail mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah lovely. Really good. Number thirteen. Yeah, I really like this one. It, it kind of it, it stood out really. Yeah. The level of detail. It's, mm -hmm. it's really um, it's quite it's sort of quite sharp and it's held 
Uh, I guess that's the finer grain of a film that's allowing it to do that. Yeah. But it's 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 very well metered. Um, the, the, everything is sort of it's nicely exposed. There's a very clear focus on the boat at the front, mm -hmm. but then you can see things in the background are still sort of quite clear as well. So. Uh, it just brings together a very nice image, I think. Yeah, and I think it is quite different from the rest as well, so yeah. that's maybe what made it stand out a bit more. Mm. It's a great shot and really well composed. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. So this one was shot by Billy Evans and it's titled Shipwrecked and it was shot on 120. Well done. Really? Thank yeah, you, Billy. It's it number 12. It's a really pleasing image to look at, so sort of wheat. Um, but it's the colours really. Mm -hmm. um, Just really striking and yeah. pops, doesn't it? Composition's great, um, so it's very much in focus at the, at the front, but then you lose a lot of focus quite quickly. It's just pleasing because of the warmth and the colours and that. Quite how the colours, maybe it was end of day, maybe the sun was falling, um, maybe it's something in processing, but mm -hmm. who knows. So this one was shot by Steve Malpass and it's titled The Many Colours of Wheat and it was on 35mm. It looks more like wheat in a florist than on a field. Yeah, it looks like lavender actually, yeah. doesn't it? With, yeah. the, with the lilacs, yeah. But it's lovely. Yeah, great image. Yeah, well done. Thank you, Steve. So on to number 11. Yeah. And I think we all know where this was shot. Absolutely. <laughs> um, yeah, that's the local canal just down mm -hmm. the road. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> or Venice, maybe. Or oh, Venice. Um, yeah, so great composition. Um, having the gondola in, in the middle, right at the front, mm -hmm. very much in focus. And then behind that, the city of Venice, or one of the islands, I guess, um, with a bit of mist and haze, mm. which kind of sets it up in a very sort of natural way. The sharpness of the reflection on the water is yeah. always really good. Yeah. And then the stakes coming out of the water as well. So, yeah, um, yeah really effective image. Yes, yeah, it's really beautifully clean, mm. but it really captures that moment and mm. just iconic, you know, yeah. iconic place. So this one was shot by Esori Leroy Avi, um, and it's titled La Gondolas a Venice, <laughs> and it was shot on 35mm. Right. Lovely. Really good. Yeah, well done. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so this one is our number 10. What can I say? It's just a very pleasing image. Very sharp in the foreground, nice colours in the background. Um, just a really effective image. Uh, definitely an image you'd want to frame and put on a wall. Mm, it's yeah. just, um, yeah. The purples yeah, are popping colors, through. Yeah, yeah it's so, beautiful. Yeah. Uh, but it's, I think it's the contrast of the harshness of the rocks and yeah. the sort of the heather that's around it. it just sort of yeah. fades it away very gently. Yeah, really the nice. layers yeah. kind of each yeah. part. Yeah, absolutely. So it's lovely. Yeah, mm. this one was shot by Luke Henrys, and it's titled "Higger to Heather," mm -hmm. and it was shot on 120. Yeah. I think the sun's quite low again, so again makes it a uh, more interesting light to do to, to photography in. Mm -hmm. um, but it's come out really well. There's lots of shadows in there as well, and yeah. some hot spots, but nothing too too bright. So uh, overall, really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, number nine. Yeah, really nice image. Um, and it's sort of almost professional in its style, mm -hmm. but it's um, it's also very natural. Yeah. Um, so not easy to do because you've got a lot of your side light. You've got someone sitting in the shade, but you still need light on a subject. Um, but it's come out really well. Mm -hmm. um, but so the clothing, the flesh tones, the clarity, it's perfectly framed by the sort of foliage in the background. You can sort of see that image and absorb it very easily but to appreciate how difficult it is just to nail it just quite like that is yeah, yeah. it's another thing i think portrait in general is very good at is, is giving really good flesh tones and not over not too saturated very mm -hmm. natural look yeah and, and you're seeing that there so this was shot by anthony hyatt and it's titled contemplation and it was shot on 120 and he said, I love the colour tones and the transition between the bright background and the subject that you get with Portrait 160. The tolerance of this film in high contrast situations like this is excellent. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Play and learn, really, I think. Exactly. So, yeah. Number eight. Ah, yes. Okay, so a poppy field. Foregrounds, very much in focus. Yeah, it makes the front of the, the image stand out. A bit blends so nice as it mm. drifts away into the background. Yeah, very good colours, great detail. Um, yeah, just a really nice image. It's the eye right to the front where it's sharp. And it does, sharp. And yeah. great depth of field on that as yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's good detail as well. So, yes. yeah, really good. Yeah, lovely. So, this one was shot by Hector Rivero and it's on 35mm and it's titled Poppy Field in Industrial Park. Yeah. We would know. <laughs> There's the extra detail for you. Yeah, one of the arts of photography. Don't know what's going on around. <laughs> yeah, taking the best bits. And, yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. Oh, 18 years expired. Wow. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, it's amazing. That would explain maybe the, the slight darkness in that. 
well, that's more exposure, yeah, isn't potentially, it? Potentially, but yeah, there's still probably more exposure. But um, yeah, I don't think you would know like necessarily if you keep from filming the right conditions. It will last for a long time. Yeah, so, yeah it's slightly overexposed, but it's, it's done it. It's, you know, the latitudes held yeah. really well, and maybe that makes up for some of the aging as well. Potentially. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, yeah, well done, Hector. Lovely shot. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Wow, so, look at this one. Yeah. Wow. What a striking image. Yeah. Um, it's it's very dark. Um, it's very green. Um, <laughs> but it, the the composition is excellent. The framing, the the fact that the car is in the background, and uh, it, it it just looks great, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I really like it. It's got a, a very strong sort of atmosphere around mm -hmm. it, and um, yeah. So it's something you probably you know you can only just stumble across and to. To not just jump in and take a photograph, but exactly. frame it and to get it, you know, center with the, yeah. the trees around it. It's, it's just done really well. This one was captured by John Anderson, Somerset, England. So there we go, yeah. right in England. Um, it's abandoned Porsche 944. And yeah, again, must have stumbled across that mm. walk in the yeah. woods. You're not going to expect or know that's going to be there. So yeah, it's a really good shot, very striking and great composition. Yeah, yeah, very effective photography, really, mm -hmm. really good. Yeah, so well done, John. That's number seven. Thank you, John. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, number six. Here we go. Okay, uh, well, yeah, one of my favourites, um, just because I like the personality or personalities in the shot. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, just a row of kids from behind, probably looking at some fish in a pool. Um, mm -hmm. I don't really know, but um, yeah, just... Um, just, just a nice sort of shot that's got a lot of personality in it. Lots of very young children, um, you know, enjoying the summer really. Yeah. And nice presence of mind, I think, to take an image from behind someone again. Yes. So mm -hmm. not from the front. But still have but, that personality as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the, the kind of the intensity at which they're all looking is amazing. <laughs> I know, yeah. I know. So hours of fun. Did Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, so this one was shot by Owen Redding and it's titled What's in the Pool? Yeah. That is the question, what's in the pool? Shopping trolley. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> potentially, we don't know. Um, so it was shot on 35mm and he said it's the perfect summer image of kids watching the fish. Um, and also sizes are arranged from large to little, from left to right. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. So there was some sort of planning, potentially, but it made for a really nice shot. So. Nice summer's day hanging out. Yeah, thank you, Owen. Number five, we're getting into our top five now. Mm -hmm. So almost there. And this is number five. Just love this one. Just uh, as much as anything, the colours, um, the composition. Um, so just having, again, people from behind, strangely, mm -hmm. can't see their faces, uh, just sat on the wall. But the, the colours, the, the texture of the clouds, um, and the presence of mind just to take an image in that style. Mm -hmm. The whole thing just gives a very pleasing look and feel, particularly with the pinks and the warmth of the end of day sunshine. Yeah. Um, uh, just a really nice image. It's lovely, yeah, and it's, it's interesting. We don't know whether this was planned, mm. if the photographer knew these people or if he was walking past. Mm. So there's yeah. always a story Absolutely. that you don't know. Yeah, there's so. definitely a hidden story in there, but um, yeah. time of day and the colours of the clouds mm -hmm. and everything, which really makes a difference to it. Definitely, yeah. yeah. So this one was shot by Jonathan Rothwell and it's titled Purple Rain in Waiting. It was shot on 35 mil. And it's not, it, it, what's kind of nice about it, it's not perfectly sharp on the on the subjects as well. But it's kind of, more it's candid and yeah, 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 makes it a bit more natural, kind of doesn't it? a little bit back, exactly. Yeah, well done, Jonathan. Thanks for Jonathan, yeah. And then number four. Okay. Here we go. I like the, the colours, I like the detail, I like the composition. Um, so the, the sort of the L'Oreal third, so you've got two thirds and you've got the skyline, which is perfect. Mm -hmm. You've got the, the sort of building in the middle, um, but the level of detail yeah. is, is really strong. Um, and the colours are just very pleasing. So it's sort of, it's got a harsh rock, but it's, it's mm. sort of a soft colour overall. Mm -hmm. And digitally had the framing of the Porsche 160 on it. Yes, um, yes. Uh, which, which again, you kind of get bonus point for, really. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but no, it framed the picture really nicely. And we yeah, did even that worked thing, nice. But did, everything worked, came out really well. Yeah. yeah, no, it's a beautiful shot. It's really, really lovely. And um, this one was taken by Stefano Di Tana and it's titled Rocca Calasio in Italy. 
and it was shot on 120. He said, I was surprised but, uh, by the incredible colours, depth of field and detail. With film, you don't necessarily know what you're going to get, but mm. this is a stunning shot. Stefano, thank, thank you. Thank you, Stefano. Number three is this one. Ta da! So, Yay. okay, um, just a really nice portrait. Yeah. Um, so, clues in the name, portrait film, mm -hmm. type of portraiture. Um, and it, it does do flesh tones really well, and this is a case in point. This looks like a really simple image, and it's mm. in some ways very easy to do, but even easier to get completely wrong. Focus is really good, it's not too harsh, it's got a softness to it. Yeah. The framing, sort of her hair, um, flowers, um, being sort of more in focus at the front than uh, sort of the back, coming forward to being more out of focus, which frames the, the face really mm -hmm. well. And, and then everything about the colours and uh, the flesh tones yeah. look really good. Uh, so soft and smooth yeah. and, and a good level of detail but a softness to it as well. And this one actually was really popular on our social media channels. Yeah, yeah we, we did post this one and had a lot mm. of engagement so yeah, it's a great shot. Um, this one was taken by Millie Clinton mm. and it's titled Before the Flowers Went and it was on 35mm. But yeah, thank you Millie, well done. Excellent. So your number two is? So number two, second place. Here we go. Um, so just a, a really good image. It's, it looks almost like a, pro, a professional mm -hmm. image. It does. Um, but I don't think it is. So, well, yeah. <laughs> um, but it, it, it's strange composition in that it, it's not focused on someone's face. It's it's mm. very sort of uh, abstract in its in a sort of way it's presented. But everything about it, it just fits really well. And the level of detail that's been held uh, particularly in the hat and the flowers and then the framing of the image with the flowers being in focus at the front and going out of focus mm -hmm. towards the back. Um, just really nice. Uh, yeah, it's the sort of image that I think a lot of people would enjoy. Mm -hmm. and you could see. Absolutely. Yeah, it's just the colours. It's beautiful, the beautiful tones, you know, that golden hour as yeah. well of summer. Yeah. And yeah, like you say, it's, it's interesting that it's not the face, mm -hmm. but it's a really nice... Shout to summer at you, doesn't it? It's yeah, warm and it's day. a nice different Chim perspective yeah. as well, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, this one was shot by Elliot Marius, and it's titled Last Days of Summer, and it was on 120. So yeah, well done, Elliot. Thank you. So... Yeah. Drum roll. Big drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> da -da -da -da. This is our winner. Yeah. for the Kodak the summer competition. Da. Who is it? It's this. Wow, yeah. Just so, look at that. Yeah, really strong colours. There, there's loads of greens and sort of um, just the brightness of the, the snow, uh, the skyline, the mountains in the background, the sort of path that the glacier makes coming down from the back to the front. And it just looks clean and mm. fresh and it's got really um, yeah level of color saturation mm -hmm. um, and when I look through the 800 plus prints yeah. this one just really sort of caught the eye and mm -hmm. stood out yeah. it was, it was you really difficult you couldn't ignore it no. and um, I think a worthy winner absolutely yeah it's lovely you know there's so much going on with the shadows on the road the lighting there's so many different layers to the image mm. So yeah, like you say, it really does catch your eye. And the strong shadows coming across the park yes, as well. Yes, exactly. Which even more sort of um, interest for mm -hmm. the artist, I think. This person has actually already been in the top 20 okay. a little bit before. Ah, so this is yeah. the second entry from this person, which is amazing in itself. So it's from Andrea or Andrea uh, Bieri and it's titled Icy Summer and it was shot on 35mm. And quite a switch from the last image, which I it think is, was the yeah. end of day, sunshine, long exposure. Yes, still sort of climate. landscapes, yeah. but yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true, very opposite. Yeah. But yeah, this is the winning shot out of those two and yeah. out of all the 820. Yeah, congratulations so, and thank you. Well done, thank you so much. Andrea. Thank yeah. you. Yay. That's it from us. Yeah. We've chosen a winner and yeah. they're going to get some prizes from you, I believe. So the top three, I will be sending an email to you in the next week or so. And um, yeah, we'll, I'll be sending you some film. So, Perfect. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. A great prize. Yeah, really good. And looking forward to maybe another competition in sometime soon. Yes, so, exactly. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. It's lots to look forward to. And thank you so much, everyone that took part. There's incredible entries and, mm. you know, really hard to narrow down. Oh, yeah. Huge variety. Yeah. Yeah. really good quality and uh, which I guess is inevitable when you're sending your best images in but it was, mm -hmm. it, the general stand was really good made it really difficult but we like those challenges and um, 
Yeah. yeah, and it was good fun. So hopefully we'll see you again and you can take part in our next competition. Yeah, thank you. So yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, Bye everyone. Bye.